Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, this is Antoinette Williams, the founder of FAB, Personal Growth and Development. FAB stands for Focus, Attitude, Behavior. Focus on your attitude to change your behavior. Why? Because change begins with him. Okay, got a little something, pardon me, right there. Change begins with him. And it's Tuesday, okay? And if you have joined us previously, then you know today is Talk About It Tuesday. And I I don't want to talk about this. I really don't. However, it's so triggering. We're going to have to discuss and unpack, okay? So the other night, I watched on Netflix Two Distant Strangers and if you haven't watched it, listen, it's only 32 minutes. You know, it's a good watch. However, it is triggering. Very, 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 very triggering. Okay? So, I'm going to start with this. Don't let this light skin fool you. I am a black woman. Okay? Black woman with black children. And living in America, you know, the experience... Um, is mixed. You know, I've got mixed emotions on my life here in the good old United States of America. And, uh, so in the movie, the main character, uh, is having like a Groundhog's Day type of moment, right? Where like, it's like a repeated day. Okay. But in the movie, uh, when he leaves his friend's house, he's killed by the police. Every time he's killed, he wakes up to be killed again. And there's different scenarios and situations of how he gets killed. The moral of the story is this, though. There was no crime committed. He didn't do anything. And yet, he's gone in the movie, you know? And yes, this is triggering because this continues to happen over and over and over and over and over. And even when I share like my concerns and my emotions behind it and, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I get it because, you know, you have black sons. I do. I also have black daughters. I'm also a black woman. Yeah. And I think a lot of times when these situations happen, you know, you have those that really believe like, well, it won't happen to me. Why not? What makes you the exception to the rule? No, seriously, what? Let's talk about it. So even in the movie, you know, um, his interaction with the police officer changes. You know, he's trying to be calm and speak and even share his experience. And he still gets killed. This is bothersome. This is bothersome because this continues to happen and there's no consequences. There's no repercussions. And I was speaking to my good, good girlfriend this morning and I was saying like, honestly, there is no amount of money that will really supplement that loss. Okay. There's nothing. There's no amount of money that you can give for stealing a life. Yes, I said it. You stole a life. You stole that person's opportunity for change. So even if they had a criminal history, even if they were addicted to drugs, even if they had mental health issues, it doesn't matter. You stole their opportunity for change. And in doing so, it affects their family. It affects their friends, the co-workers. It affects all those that are around. It affects those that have watched this. Okay, this is traumatizing. Those that have seen the videos and nothing's being done. Oh, this is heavy on Talk About It Tuesday. What do we do? How do we create the changes that we want to see? How do we show that, listen, as a black person, my life really does matter. And I add value and I'm valuable. And I'm needed and I'm appreciated and I'm supported and I'm human just like you. So although I may not look just like you, I'm human too. How? How do we get this across to those that have hate in their heart? Hate that begats hate that begats hate from years of hate. How? How do we make the changes? How? 
ah, Charlemagne the God, he's always talking about systemic racism because it's real. It's real. Like, literally, there, it's in our history from financial institutions just trying to hold us back, okay? Even wild Dr. Umar talks about how, like, you know, a black man could go to high school and, you know, learn a trade and provide for his family. And then it's like, nope, you need a college degree for that. Like, it's constant battles is an uphill battle and I just want to know what do we do how can we create the change hello (laughs) how don't get me wrong don't get me wrong hey Mr. Officer you don't know what my intentions are but I have to be honest I don't know what your intentions are either okay so now you're nervous and I'm nervous too we got all this nervous energy what to do can you please not shoot hmm can you give me an opportunity to to be arrested and be proven guilty for a crime? Can you? Is it safe for my children to play outside? Can my child walk down the street with a hoodie on because maybe it's cold outside? Or maybe he didn't have a haircut that day and so he decided to put a hood on. And he just wanted to get some Skittles and maybe, you know, a sweet tea. That's what my son likes to drink. Can he be safe? Can I sleep in my bed with the hopes that I'm going to wake up? Is that okay? Is that all right? I mean, Civil Rights Act of 1964 was only but so long ago. And that was just asking for civil rights. Can you be civil with me? You don't have to like me. We don't have to be friends. But can you just be cordial? Can you treat me with some type of respect? Huh. Huh. If you have any suggestions... If you've been triggered by these situations as well, comment. Let's discuss. Let's unpack. Let's talk about it Tuesday. And I apologize if this message is too heavy for you, but this is something that we have to talk about so we can make some changes. Why? Because change begins within. And I know that I have to be the change that I seek. And so if you see me with a smile on my face, it has nothing to do with you and it's all about me how I feel about myself, and I love myself. This message has been brought to you by Fab Personal Growth and Development. You can find Fab on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and right here on YouTube. So tell a friend to tell a friend to join this Fab Life, Mm -hmm. where we're going to focus our energy, we're changing our attitude, and in doing so, we're going to change our behavior, okay? (laughs) Have a great day.